Uh, so when I was uh, 2007, I, I was a monk for seven days in, in, in Thailand. Uh, my Thai sponsor in Australia, his two sons were going over. And then uh, every Thai male is a monk once in a lifetime, whether it be a week, a month, two months, whatever. Um, so his boys were going over to be monks for seven days. He said, he rang, gave me a call. He said, hey, my boys are going over to do the um, be monks, get, get ordained. Um, what do you reckon? So he said, you've done Thai boxing. You speak Thai. You've lived everything like a Thai. The only thing you haven't done is the monk. What do you reckon? So, Mate, I'd love to. That'd be amazing. That'd be so cool. So uh, yeah, packed my stuff, went to Thailand. We had the big ordain, got my eyebrows, my head shaved, got me given everything, all my possessions taken away, got given my robe. And then uh, we lived in the temple. And then every morning we'd, we'd walk a block with a bowl and a lid. And then uh, people would be on the side of the road with giving off offerings. And if we didn't get any offerings, we didn't eat that day. But sure enough, every morning there'd be like a, at least a dozen people out there and they put their rice and a little bit of meat, whatever else in, the, in our little bowl. And then they kneel down and then and we'd say a chant. And that little chant was hopefully enough to give them good karma for whether it be that day or that week or, or whatever they need. And um, the, the crazy part was uh, we had one blind lady that was on this walk every morning. Every morning she was there without fail. And she'd have a, her sister um, lead her out to us and she'd hold her hand and she'd put the, 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 the rice into our bowl and she'd you just, you just see how important it was. Just even though it was only a chant and only words, um, for her it was a, hopefully an opportunity for her so that she could hopefully see maybe not this life but the next life. But um, it just makes you... Uh, appreciate the just the little things we have so I, I learned that if i had food in my tummy and a roof over my head I, I, all my possessions were taken away but i was i was warm and i was full and the little things that were annoying me before or aggravating me before they, they, they were the last of my worries all of a sudden it's like they, all that all that uh, inside pressure that i was putting upon myself it's like i'm okay I'm, life's good life's good if i'm if long as i got some too i'm i'm sweet so um, yeah, it was definitely a, a very educational seven days to uh, appreciate everything. So, what does a day look like as a monk? What do you? So so we wake up in the morning about five. Uh, we walk the sh we walk our lap. Um, when we get back, uh, we 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 sit with the main monk and uh, we do Buddha studies uh, twice a day. So we do it about nine o'clock, and we have something to eat again. We, we're not allowed to eat after twelve. So you probably have a feed about um, seven and about eleven. And after 12, you're not allowed to chew until the next sunrise. Um, and then we do Buddhist, Buddha um, studies in the morning and Buddha studies in the afternoon. And then we, we do all our regular chants morning and night. And then uh, then the head monk would just uh, we'd, we'd sit down and, he, and he'd explain just the little things about um, just life in general. Say so, um, you, you have one, you have one mum and dad. So you might have a wife, but there's no reason why she can't leave you tomorrow. Where your parents, you could do the worst of the worst, but you can guarantee, well, nine times out of ten, you can guarantee that your, your mum and dad will always be the ones that come and visit you in jail because they got that unconditional love for their their, their children. Whereas a missus, she'll she'll love you today while everything's going right, and as soon as something happens, like meh, later, and then um and uh and they instead of ten commandments, uh, they only have five. So just your basic, yeah, don't kill, don't steal, don't do drugs, don't um, don't uh, cheat on your missus. Um, and some one other one, whatever. But uh, so uh, the Thai New Year, so we're 2020 in Thailand, they're 2,500 and something, something. So they believe um, Buddha is 500 years older than Jesus. Right. And they still run with the Buddha calendar instead of the, the, the Jesus calendar. And then they believe that uh, um, the Buddha made up all the like the commandments and the rules and everything else and then um, when Christianity came along and said we're liking those rules we reckon we can make a couple little tweaks and then uh, but 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 since that's going so well we'll just run with that and we'll just do our own little one and we'll call it our version and then um uh yeah so it's just bizarre how it's just how you think you know what's going on and all of a sudden you've got someone saying no no we've been doing this for 500 years longer than you yeah and it's like whoa that's hectic and then Buddha's a real dude too. He's a real guy. He's not some mythical guy that um, was born from a virgin. He's just uh, he was a rich prince that was lived in a in a kingdom, but he never left the palace gates. So his whole life, everyone's like, oh, everyone's good, everyone's healthy, everyone's got money. There's no poverty. And then one day, just something happened, and he just didn't. He felt like his whole life was a lie. So he got dressed up and he and he escaped the the royal palace. And that was the first time that he seen famine and and real life. 
and he was so in shock that his whole life had just been just crazy that he decided to go out into the forest and sit under a tree and um, meditate for weeks on end without any food or water and just put himself into a trance. And that, that's when he came to the realization, okay, we can do this, this, and this to make me a better person. What's I'm going to do? And um, yeah, so it, it's so more realistic and so more um, common sense than the, the other, all the other stuff, I guess. Um, it's hard to believe sometimes about the talking snakes in there. <laughs> but when you've got a real dude that has, okay, you can sort of a little bit understand that a little bit more better than, than the mythical sort of what <laughs> yeah i mean i'm not a religious person but i think often the message that comes from religion is is it helps people live their lives oh for sure and i guess even with christianity or catholicism or whatever you want to run people didn't have the or well, the police didn't have the ability to control all the people so why shouldn't i kill someone well god doesn't want you to yeah and he will smite you you know and i guess that's a fair way to control to control the group but living as a monk is an incredible tale. Do you, I've never heard any of these things about you. I think you need a podcast. Or you need to. You need to be putting YouTube videos out yeah, or, or it, doing something. It, it, it was so surreal. It was so crazy. It was, it was so cool. 